Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blungo.com and today's tutorial is about Soho CRM. We're going to create a workflow that is going to assign a task to a user that is not the record owner. Let's start. First off, I wanted to mention that I have a blog post on my website that is showing the step-by-step -step process that we're going to follow today and you're going to be able to also find the function that we're going to use. Here I have an opportunity open and the opportunity owner in this case is Kelly. What we're gonna do first is add a second user field that we're gonna call sales support. And in my company, that person is the first one that answers the phone. And then we're gonna create a function in a workflow that is gonna assign tasks to that person. If you want to assign tasks to the opportunity owner or a specific user, you can do it very simply from the workflows. But in this case, we're gonna assign a task to the user that is selected as a sales support. So the first thing we're gonna do is add that field. Let's go to the setup page and then click on modules and fields and open the opportunities module. Now open the layout you wanna edit. And now we're gonna add a user field. And the name is gonna be sales support. And now we're gonna click on save. And just to keep it simple, I'm gonna add a sales support user to the detail view. So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna customize and I'm gonna add sales support. Now I'm gonna click on save and close. Now if I go back to the opportunity that I have open here and refresh, you can see that the sales support field is empty. So we're gonna select a user and in this case it's gonna be me and save it. So this opportunity has an opportunity owner that is Kelly and a sales support that is me. All right, let's go back to the layouts and we're gonna go back and go to developer space and APIs. Now we're gonna click on API names and open the opportunities module. And on this list, we're gonna find a sales support field. So in this case, it's this one right here. And we have to pay attention to this part that is the API name. So in this case is sales underscore support two. So for now, I'm gonna leave this tab open and I'm gonna continue in another tab. So I'm gonna go back to the setup and we're gonna add a function. Here under developer space, it says functions. And we're gonna create a new function. And let's give it a name and a display name and category. And now we're gonna go to the blog post and scroll down and copy this code. And now we're gonna go back to the function and paste it right here. All right, now we have to replace some things here, but if you want more details, please check out the blog post. So the first thing we have to replace is this field that says sales support one for the API name that you found. So let's go back to the page here so in my case, sales support two. But in your case, it might be different. So I'm just gonna go back here and change this to sales support two. And now this is the task name and I'm going to change this part and add follow up. And what this is doing is adding the name follow up to the task and also the name of the deal or opportunity. If you don't want that to happen, you can just remove this part. So if you remove that, the task is gonna be called follow up. But in this case, I also want the task name to have the opportunity name so it is easy to identify. So I'm gonna keep it like that. And for this particular task, we have a reminder set up. But if you would like to delete the reminder, just check out the blog post. All right, now we only have to add an argument. In this case, it's this one right here, your deal ID. So copy this and click on edit arguments and click here and paste it and then select this type and click on save. And finally, we're gonna click on save. All right, the function is ready. And the only thing that we have to do now is create the workflow. So let's go to automation and then workflow rules. And here we're gonna create a workflow rule. Module is gonna be the opportunities or deals and just name it. Click on next. And now you have to set up your workflow. So in my case, it's gonna be in a record action, edit, specific field gets modified, and we're gonna do a stage. 
it's modified to any value. And then the condition is going to be stage is, and we're going to select schedule estimate. Click on next. And now in the instant actions, we're going to select function. And we're going to add a new function. Click here. And then we're going to select the function that we just created, follow up sales support. And on the arguments, we're going to map the deal ID or opportunity ID. So click here and press pound and then select opportunities. And it's going to be the opportunity ID done and click on save and associate. And now we're going to save this. All right, we have our workflow ready, so let's test it out. We're going to go back to this opportunity and refresh the page. And now we're going to move it to schedule estimate. And let's refresh again. As you can see here, an activity has been created and it is a task that says follow up in the name of the opportunity. And if we go to open activities, we can see that the task has been created and it was assigned to me. In this case, I'm on the sales support. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please leave a thumbs up. Also, let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.